So let's go ahead and figure out how to look at our colors. And uh, you may think that you can just use um, tag.style and so on. But in fact, that's not quite going to do what we want. So let's see, let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to run this and then go to sources. And then I'm going to open my JavaScript. And I'm going to put a tag right here. So when I hit a text node, let's see what we get. So here I'm on a text node. And at the bottom, I can go ahead and type tag. So that's a text node. And tags don't have text text nodes don't have styles. And then how about parents? So it does have a parent node, which is just head. And that has a style. But the color is empty, and that color is empty as well. So maybe it's just that one. Well, let's go ahead and run this a couple times so that we're a little deeper. And then here's the tag. Tag style still undefined. Parent style. background color and foreground color. So still not very good. The way we can get access to these things is by using document.defaultView dot get computed style and then we can pass it a tag. Only if the tag is an element tag. Now, uh, these have colors, but this is black, actually, so black text. But then this one is transparent, so that means that whatever the element is on top of is going to show through. So whatever is in the scope above it is going to show through. So what we're going to have to do is pass in the color from the scope above when we recursively walk through all the children. So, for example, if you had um, a div box that was sitting on top of another div box, the outer div box had, has a color, and that will affect the color of the inner div, div box. So to start, let's go ahead and take a four color and a back color. And then whenever we output our text, let's also add Let's also add four like so. And then let's pass that into check colors for the child. And then if If we're in an element node, let's get the computed style. And we'll pass in the tag. And then 4 is equal to style dot color and back equal style dot background color. So save that and reload. And this still isn't going to quite do what we want because we need to deal with transparency. But let's see if we're any further. Get rid of that breakpoint and continue.
because I was interrupted. So let's try it again. Okay, so now we have foreground colors and background colors. So these are all black. You see this one has a tag, but most of these are just transparent. Okay, so we're going to need to pass those background colors along and only overwrite them if the color is not transparent. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to create a helper function called isTransparent. And it's going to take a color. And basically, if color is RGBA, then true, or an Internet Explorer, we're going to return true else will return false. And then color is equal to style.color if not is transparent color or is Color. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Except here, I'm going to do the background color. And set back. So let's try that. Reload and run. All right, so black text on whatever this background is. Seem to be making some progress. So now let's try to get the size of the text. And this style also has a size. But once again, the text node itself doesn't have a size, so we're going to have to pass that in. And then here, we'll set size equal style dot size. Maybe text size. Let's see. This might not work. Oh. Um, well, let's see. Let's try it now, see if we get the right size or not. Nope. Um, let's try text size. Nope. Let's try font size. So now we have the font size in pixels. So the other thing we need is the weight. So I think that's font weight. So let's go ahead and add that. So size comma weight plus weight plus comma. So we're going to need a weight as well. And let's try weight in style dot Wait. So 
So not font weight. Most of these are undefined, so let's go ahead and put a breakpoint on that line there and see what the right value is. So style. So here's all the style properties. Quite quite a few. Let me show you a little trick. So for x in style, if x dot index of eight is greater than minus one, that means it's found console.log x plus plus style sub x. And then close off the for loop. So what this is going to do is go through all the properties in the style object and it's going to look for the EIGHT in the text if it finds it, this will be greater than 1, and it'll log that property. So here are all the properties that have weight. And it says font weight, so... Oh, I forgot to pass it in. Okay, so it's there. I just forgot to pass it in. All right. So let's reload and now run it and look at our console. Okay, good. So now they're all normal or bold. Now in Internet Explorer, what you'll get is a number between 0 and 1,000. And 700 or greater is considered bold. 400 is considered normal. 700 or greater is considered bold. So our logic for figuring out whether it's bold, we'll have to keep both of those in mind. Um, but I think we have all of the stuff that we need to start our calculation.